Today I'd like to go over congruent polygons. Congruent polygons. And congruent just means identical in terms of geometry. Congruent. So basically, two congruent polygons have the same shape and the same size. Oops. Same size. Right, and for congruent polygons, the corresponding angles, corresponding angles, and sides will be equal. What does that mean? Okay, so let's say I have a rectangle, a rectangle A, B, C, D, and another rectangle that is congruent to that one, a rectangle E, I should start writing from the top. E, F, G, H. And because these are rectangles, all of the angles are going to be right angles. And to notate that these two rectangles are the same or are congruent, I say that A, B, C, D is congruent to E, F, G, H. So this sign right here means congruent to. It's an equal sign with a squiggly line on top. Okay, so because we know that A, B, C, D, and E, F, G, H are congruent, let's say that we know um, this side here is 5 meters and this side is 3 meters. Do we also, or can we also, find out what the sides of E, F, G, H would be. Well, the corresponding angles and sides will be equal. So that means the corresponding sides for this side will be this side here. The corresponding side for this side will be this side here. So these sides are going to be equal. That means for our E, F, G, H rectangle, this side will also be 3 meters and this side will also be 5 meters. So that's what we mean by congruent. They have the, the same shape, they're both rectangles, and the corresponding sides, they have the same size. So this side is 5 meters, this side will also be 5 meters. This side is 3 meters, this side will also be 3 meters. And this is true for other shapes besides rectangles. So let's try with a triangle. Let's say I have a triangle like this here, triangle ABC. Then let's say I have an, another triangle like this. I'm going to draw them, purposely draw it in a different position. D, E, F. And these two triangles, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. And we know that this side is 3 centimeters, this side is 5 centimeters. We know that this side is 3 centimeters, and this side is 4 centimeters. Now, can we find the missing sides of these triangles? Well, because they are congruent, the sides and angles are going to be the same. And we can see that with one of the sides here. This side is the same as this side. And this angle is the same as this angle here. They're both right angles. For some reason, it doesn't want to. Anyways, so these two angles are the same. And we can see that the, the sides that are connected 
by this angle. So this side and this side. So these are the corresponding sides, and these sides should also be the same. We don't know what this side is, but we know that this side is 4 centimeters. And because they are congruent triangles, it should be the same here. This should also be 4 centimeters. Right? And then we have one more side here. This side corresponds to this side here. It is opposite of our right angle. So these sides should also be the same. So that means because this side is 5 centimeters here, it should be 5 centimeters here as well. So that's what we mean uh, by congruent. The corresponding sides and the corresponding angles have to be exactly the same.